Okay, I know it's been a while since I put a video out. I'm kind of like taking a break from the road. I did my camp post job and I've been home for a couple of weeks now. So I've been shopping around and decided I'm going to give Solar a try because I like having cold meats and cold milk, cereal in the morning and everything. But a lot of times when you're moving, you can't keep your refrigerator going in the scam. I mean, they run off of propane, they run off of battery, and then they run off of gas. Well, it takes 24 hours to get the refrigerator cool and a scamp, and then you're, you know, if you move around a lot like I do, 24 hours, you know, by the time I cool it down, I'm ready to pack up and move again. So I figured what I'll do, I used to use a Coleman cooler, but I burned it up, and I used to keep it just plugged into the back of the Subaru. But at night when the car wasn't running, I had no way to recharge the cooler, get it charged up, get it cold. <clears throat> so what I did, I decided to go with a solar system, tried out solar panels. I bought me a 100 watt rock pal foldable suitcase solar panel. I bought me a, a rock pal 300 solar generator and I bought a 26 cooler made by Joy and I'll spell it T-U-T-A-S but I have no idea how to pronounce it. I'll give you all a close-up view of them here in a second but the cooler runs off of either 12 volt or runs off of 110 and it does come with the package you run it off of 110 and I figured when I'm driving what I'll do is I'll keep the power pack running through my car you know the cigarette lighter and then I'll plug the refrigerator up until the uh, rock pile solar generator but I have messed around with the rock pile solar generator and from a dead charge it takes five to six hours to 100% recharge it again and hopefully what I'm going to do is um, I run the refrigerator during the day when I'm driving keep it plugged in and then at night I'll be strictly running off of the rock pile generator and um, Hopefully these panels will work, but I think it's sooner or later I was going to have to try out solar, so this is what we're doing. I'll show you my little setup and what each one looks like close up. Okay, let's start with the um, solar panels I bought. They're made by Rockpal. I paid $215 for them, and they weigh 81.6 ounces. Um, they look like they're pretty nice quality, but I did buy a stand because I don't want to leave them hanging like that because they need to get air and you'll get a lot more use out of them if you let them breathe just like anything else so i got some stands plus i can move them around a lot better if i have a stand because i can move the stand wherever the light is and i don't want to put hooks all over my camper so that was number that was the first part of it second i went with the rock pal solar generator which is 300 watts um i paid 245 for it it weighs 7.7 .7 pounds and for the money i thought it was a good deal because i mean i can recharge it in about five to six hours and it should run the cooler all night long so during the day what i'll do is run the cooler off the car or either i can run the carb carb cigarette lighted to the um rock pal solar generator and then run it back to the cooler i'm going to have to experiment with all this stuff first but uh, it also came with a pack in front of it. You can see pack the AC hookups um, It's pretty simple as far as the directions uh, It's 26 quarts like I stayed before I like this one because in my back seat I can reach back there and I can reach and do the lid up and down. It's got a magnetic lid I mean she closes pretty nice uh, The other ones they open like this and if you're in a car you put it in your back seat you're not gonna be able to you know open it up because it's going the um opening is gonna hit the roof i mean hit the ceiling of the car so that's why i went with this one and it's built pretty sturdy it weighs 26 pounds and i believe i paid right at 269 so grand total i think i spent like um um 269 245 215 six probably about $800 grand total because i did get the warranties on everything because I figured, you know, for another $40 for four years and another 
$33 for three years was well worth it because I do plan on getting my money's worth. But I'll try it out. I'll let y'all know how it turns out. But going to Seoul, I knew I was going to try it sooner or later. So hopefully this video will help y'all out and give you an idea on, you know, where to go, which way to start. I did do a whole lot of research and I watched a whole lot of YouTube videos. And that's how I ended up going with the system. And I think it'll work out for me. I think me and little man will be happy with it. We'll have cold milk in the morning for our cereals and have plenty of lunch meat cold and meat cold and yoga cold. You know, the things we usually use. It's Overall, it's pretty good size, you know, but I'll just have to check it out and see how it goes. Okay, let's start with the um, solar panels I bought. They're made by Rockpal. I paid $215 for them. And they weigh 81.6 ounces on um, they look like they're pretty nice quality but i did buy a stand because i don't want to leave them hanging like that because they need to get air and you'll get a lot more use out of them if you let them breathe just like anything else so i got some stands plus i can move them around a lot better if i have a stand because i can move the stand wherever the light is and i don't want to put hooks all over my camper so that was number that was the first part of it second I went with the Rock Pal solar generator, which is 300 watts. Um, I paid 245 for it. It weighs 7.7 .7 pounds, and for the money, I thought it was a good deal because I mean, I can recharge it in about five to six hours, and it should run the cooler all night long. So during the day, what I'll do is run the cooler off the car, or either I can run the car car cigarette lighted to the um, rock pal solar generator and then run it back to the cooler I'm going to have to experiment with all this stuff first but uh, it also came with a pack in front of it you can see packed the AC hookups um, it's pretty simple as far as directions uh, it's 26 quarts like I stated before I like this one because in my back seat I can reach back there and I can reach and do the lid up and down it's got a magnetic lid I mean, she closes pretty nice. The other ones, they open like this. And if you're in a car, you put it in your back seat. You're not going to be able to, you know, open it up because it's going to, the um, opening is going to hit the roof. I mean, hit the ceiling of the car. So that's why I went with this one. And it's built pretty sturdy. It weighs 26 pounds. And I believe I paid right at 269 So grand total, I think I spent like, um, um, uh, 269 245 215 6 probably about $800 grand total because I did get the warranties on everything because I figured you know for another $40 for four years and another $33 for three years it was well worth it because I do plan on getting my money's worth but I'll try it out I'll let y'all know how it turns out but going to Seoul I knew I was going to try it sooner or later so Hopefully this video will help y'all out and give you an idea on, you know, where to go, which way to start. I did do a whole lot of research and I watched a whole lot of YouTube videos and that's how I ended up going with the system. And I think it'll work out for me. I think me and little man will be happy with it. We'll have cold milk in the morning for our cereals and have plenty of lunch meat cold and meat cold and yoga cold. Okay, well that's the end of my short little video on me going solar. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope it helped y'all out a little bit. Uh, I did quite a bit of research watching a lot of YouTube videos and reading and as much as I could. But I think this system's going to work for me a little, man. I think we'll have cold cereal in the morning and cold meats and yogurt and everything we like to have. But if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something from it. I'll see you in the next video. I hope to be back on the road. The first or second week in July, I'll be headed towards Michigan and Minnesota and work my way northwest and hopefully end up in New Mexico and Arizona by wintertime, but be safe out there.